Here at six, we are learning the name of the woman arrested after an airline scuffle on a flight that was bound for Southwest Florida. 50 year old Peggy Alba Haiti Sanchez is facing several charges after reportedly kicking, scratching, and spitting on crew members. Witnesses say it all started when the apparently intoxicated woman was refused alcohol on a flight from North Carolina to Fort Myers. The woman was restrained by crew members on that flight and taken into custody once the flight landed in Fort Myers. It happened yesterday. The charges against her include multiple counts of battery. Four in your corner is Gabrielle Saran looking into how the airlines know when to draw the line when it comes to booze on board. Gabrielle? Yes, yeah, Sanchez is sitting in the Lee County Jail facing battery charges and interfering with an aircraft. According to eyewitness accounts, she may have been intoxicated, but how much did she have to drink on the plane? A brush with danger. A 50-year-old woman aboard a U.S. Airways flight bound for Fort Myers becomes unruly and nearly interferes with landing. I don't think she should fly again. According to an arrest report, Peggy Albahadi Sanchez cursed at, spit on, and kicked a female flight attendant after she refused to serve her alcohol. When two male crew members stepped in, they too were attacked by Sanchez. She put everybody in the plane in danger, and I hope she cannot fly anymore. An off-duty deputy then wrestled Sanchez to the back of the jet before it safely landed. What questions would you have? Um, if how much she actually had on board or had she started drinking beforehand. The only question you might have is whether she was inappropriately overserved and perhaps her consumption wasn't policed by the staff. So I took those concerns to U.S. Airways, but when I talked to a company spokesman, he was tight-lipped about whether Sanchez was served at all. We don't know when she may have any alcohol or, you know, could have been before flight, during the connection, we, we don't know. But he confirms flight attendants were following protocol. If a crew member suspects a passenger is showing some signs and symptoms of, of being intoxicated, to discontinue or deny the offering of any alcohol. All three crew members were checked out by medics. They suffered swelling and bruising. Gabrielle Saran, Fox 4, in your corner. Do you think the rules should be more strict when it comes to alcohol and flying? Let us know when you go to fox4now.com. Just click on viewer's voice or call us, 239-206-FOX4.